week's all about mindfulness and confidence. Um, so if we want to be successful in this area, we need to do the work, right? <laughs> Let me find my page. I was prepared here. I lost my page. Um, so preparing for success. So like I said, in the unit sections where you'll find all the information. So the first step would be read um, so you can prepare for success. And um, for this meeting, I wanted us to just do some visualization of where we want to see ourselves in 28 days. So it, the course is designed to go through it in 28 days to really get yourself unstuck. Um, so if you aren't able to even visualize where you want to be in 28 days. That is perfectly okay. We understand that. That is truly being stuck and Linda can help you on Saturday's coaching call figure out in which area you really need to buckle down and focus. Um, that will be a really great workshop. But um, for tonight, I wanted to do a little visualization for us. So I want you to use your abundance oil, um, rub it in your hands, and just take a moment to smell. We don't need any affirmations. We don't need any power pose. I just want you to smell and to visualize what your dreams are. Dream really big where you want to see yourself. It doesn't have to be in 28 days. It can be in the future. What does your future self look like, feel like? What do you hope to accomplish in the future? How do you hope to change? Just take a couple of breaths and think about that. It doesn't matter what pops in your head. If you can think of it and conceive it, it's possible. So don't ignore the visions. Take any vision that comes in. And you may need to write these down as they pop in. What does your future self hold? Take all the visions, big and small, and jot them down if you need to remember them. Like I said, if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. So really, really believe that if it was a vision you had, that you can achieve that. It may not be tomorrow, may not be in 28 days, it may be in five, 10, 15 years, but jot them all down. Come back to this when you need to just visualize yourself in the future. So you're going to Think of an I am statement from those um, visions. So for me, I did this a little bit earlier and I wrote mine down. So I am an author of a book that came up in mine. I am a few pounds lighter that came up in mine. And I am very proud. So those are a few things that uh, I visualize for my future. So write, jot them all down, whatever they are. And um, if they pop in throughout the 28 days, that's great. That means you're opening up a lot of avenues in your uh, mind and getting unstuck. So keep keeping that journal is really important. Okay, last, we need to be prepared, like I said at the beginning, in order to feel confident. So week one is about feeling confident. So set a time to prep. So if you have not printed everything and set up, write it in your journal, your, um, uh, what's it called, planner right now, 
when you're going to do that um, or set it in your phone calendar when you're going to prep for this if you haven't had a chance to do that yet. Number two, when you prep, you print the journal, maybe make a binder, um, and um, set any alarms that you need, like for drinking Nixia Red or for doing the abundance um, breathing and power pose and affirmation. So you might need to set an alarm as a reminder. That's a way to prep and feel confident. And last, you may need to set up a sacred space for this, maybe a special chair, a cozy section of the couch, um, a space alone, maybe a, a cozy blanket, um, make it special so that you will come back to it every single day and you'll you'll fulfill this commitment that you're making to yourself. So I'm not going to take up a lot of time and I don't see any comments. So the quote to keep us going, because 28 days can be tricky sometimes. Things come up and we understand and that's why this is going to be here whenever you need it. Um, here it is by Rosa Parks and I put it in the description of the video so you can come back to it if you need it. To bring about change you must not be afraid to take the first step. We will fail when we fail to try. So everybody's taking a first step by joining this course. Um, to bring about change, you must not be afraid to take the first step. We will fail when we fail to try. So keep putting one foot in front of the other. Don't give up. We're here for you. And I hope we have a great 28 days. Bye, everyone.